welcome back to my channel my name is Lisa if you're new around here and this is Mark my Hi. husband <laughs> like we always do this like an interview don't we <laughs> <laughs> Today's video is going to be a Q&A about the kitchen, utility room, playroom, like all of those kind of questions that you've been asking. I thought it would be easy just to answer it all in one video. So, oh, it looks lovely, doesn't it? Ah, such a transformation, isn't it? It looks so different when we like moved yeah, in I know. and we did it all on a budget. I'll tell you how much we spent. Yeah. I'll break it all down as we go into the video. But, a bit strange, but did you paint the inside of the cupboards? I'm desperate, I'm desperate to paint mine. No. No, we don't bother, do we? Because the cupboards are such great quality, like, you don't need to. There's no point, is there? We got lucky, didn't we? Because the actual kitchen units are decent ones, aren't they? Yeah. And they got the shaker style already, haven't they? Yeah. They've been like a plain door. It would have been a little bit tricky. Wouldn't no, it? but I've seen people paint their gloss cupboards yeah. that are, like, smooth. Um, but I just thought there's no point in wasting time no. painting the inside when it's only you that's using yeah, it. Yeah, really. definitely. Was the worktop on the utility room hard? Would you recommend it for a family kitchen? So we wrapped the worktop in the utility room yeah. just to kind of give it a go to see if we could do it. It was quite difficult to do, um, um, only because we had the sink. Yeah, that was made it really tricky, didn't it? Yeah. You just got to really keep it straight, haven't you? Any sort of angle on it, it yeah. sort of like comes away from the top, doesn't it, if you know what I mean? It's a bit fiddly, but you yeah. can totally do it. Yeah. I think if you're going to wrap them, then you've got to be prepared to like rewrap them at a later stage if you want them for the future. But the good thing is, is you can peel it off. Yeah, it's quite a cheap way of doing it. It's like really effective, isn't it? Yeah. So. so I like the way it looked. I wouldn't have done it in our main kitchen just because of the durability factor. Yeah. Uh, what's the type of primer and paints that you used, please? Mm. <laughs> our favourite. <laughs> We should be sponsored oh by Zinsa because we use them all the time. We love this paint. So design. we use the Zinsa bin primer, is it? Yeah, the red one. The red and white tub. Yeah. So we use that first on the cupboards and then we use Farrow and Ball Cornforth White. Yeah. We didn't have this mixed up. This was actually by Farrow and Ball for the main reason that I wanted the estate eggshell finish. Yeah. Because that has got like a nice sheen to it. It's not satin. So satin's a bit more shinier than yeah. eggshell, isn't it? And it wipes clean, doesn't it, as well? Yes, so it's, it's more like durable bone. than a matte. Yeah, best of both worlds, isn't it? Yeah. Does it really good. But we did two coats of Zinsa, didn't we? Yeah, and then so three coats. Three coats. Pretty yeah. much three coats of the yeah. Cornforth White. But we only needed the one tin. So the one tin was yeah, £66, yeah. Pounds, and we've still got paint left it over. It goes really far, doesn't it? Cool, yeah. Has the paint ever come off the cabinets or tiles that you've painted in the kitchen or utility room? No. Not yet. Those pa that paint is made to go on those kind of surfaces. Yeah. Like a lot of companies paint cabinets with that paint. So okay. it's meant to be durable and long lasting. Yeah. So we've not had any chips. No, no. It's been and really our boys good. are always playing in there, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Did you put the flooring straight over the top of the tiles? And the answer is yes, we did. Because it would have been a right nightmare. Not good. Nice yeah. smashing those tiles up, wouldn't it? Yeah. So basically, we could have had, we could have just gone for like a laminate, yeah. something like that. That would have been more expensive to lay. The product you probably could have got for a similar price, but laying it is yeah. more expensive and more time consuming. The labour, yeah. So it costs more in the long yeah, run, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it would have done, yeah. We've had vinyls before in our previous houses. Our first house, we'd vinyled the oh. kitchen, bathrooms. And the hallway. And the hallway. Mm. And it's really durable. It's lovely and soft on your feet. Warmer than tiles. Yeah. And it's easy to clean. No, it does look really good as well, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, and it looks like tiles. So it looks brand new, doesn't it? Yeah. In the, the whole kitchen, really. It's made it look so much bigger. It looks so nice. The, the one thing we did was we went for a, like a felt back thick vinyl. Yeah. So then you can't see the, what's it? Tiles. The grout. Oh, underneath, yeah. Yeah, so if you go for like a thin, cheap one, you're going to see the grout and the tiles underneath. So make sure you go for a good quality yeah. um, vinyl. But it saves you all the of getting the floor up, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. The amount of time that it takes to rip that. Floor. And it was done in a day, yeah. literally. Did the three rooms in a day, didn't it? The whole, yeah. Half a day, really. Yeah, so, yeah, that's what we'd say about that one. So, yeah, we didn't have to do any preparation on the floor or anything like that. They just spray it with like a glue, don't they? And then just stick it, roll it down. Yeah, it's like an adhesive, is yeah. it? Yeah, yeah something like that. I will put a picture up. I don't know the exact details of the flooring that we got, but I did take a picture of the back of it. So, any details that I've got on the floor, I will put on the screen so you can see. But that is literally all I know. Sorry, I didn't get many details for that. Would you mind sharing where your beautiful rose paintings are from? Those are from the Muse Home. I bought those uh, a couple of weeks ago now. I'll link them down below because 
really lovely quality, aren't they? They look really nice. They're really like a thick print. They're like on card. Oh, yeah. What is the name of your worktop? That's a good question. So the worktop is laminate, isn't it? It's a 22 mil one, isn't it? Slightly thinner than what was there before. Yeah. We've never had a thin one like that before, have we? No, and I was worried that it was going to look a bit silly because obviously we had the thicker one on there before. Yeah. But it doesn't, does it? With the upside as well, it looks good, doesn't it? Because the tops sit just behind it. I think it looks more modern. Yeah. Like that. Really nice. Um, Laminates are just really good, like value for money, I think, aren't they? Though? Oh my gosh, yeah. You get so many really good ones. But this one's got that kind of terrazzo stone effect. It's called the Algiata Ma Matte Marble Effect Chipboard and Laminate Square Edge Chip Kitchen White Top. They've actually put the price up on that. Really? Because wow. we paid £88 hmm. a length, it's gone up to £92 a length. We also bought the upstand, which was £35. You got a good memory. Oh, for the fit in the worktop? Yeah. 200 quid? Yeah, it was 200 pounds for the fit of the work, so it was yeah. just like, so worth it, wasn't it, really? Yeah. He did it in a day, so. Yeah. It's so a big that transformation really... one day, isn't it? Yeah, so people did ask, actually, who did you get to fit it? Did B&Q do it, or? You probably can get B&Q blokes to do it, can't you? Yeah, sure. they might recommend people, because they have kitchen fitters, don't they? Yeah. We have just got a local carpenter to do yeah. ours, and he cut around the like... sink as well and all of that stuff. Yeah. They did a really good job. The didn't sink they? is also from B&Q. Mm -hmm. Now this one is like a resin white sink. And when I looked at the reviews, they weren't great on the B&Q website. And that made me a bit worried, didn't it? Because I bought, we yeah. bought it and then I was like, oh no, should we just go get a stainless steel one? Because it's not going to be very good. Because lots of people said that it stains. But we've had no problems. We are pretty careful with it though, aren't we? We are careful. And obviously we've got a dishwasher, so we don't yeah. put like heavily stained things into the sink. I've got a sink bowl now. Um, but for now, for us, it's fine. How are you finding the dishwasher now? I love a dishwasher. Do you really? I do love it, but I'm really annoyed that we went for a silver oh, one. Yeah. Why did we get silver? Well, because there was just a silver one there, wasn't it? Because so we had the silver that. cooker, oh, yeah. which we've moved now. Yeah. So yeah. I'm a bit annoyed about that. A few people have said, oh, why don't you wrap it? But I just can't be bothered with nah, it. Because it gets hot as well. I don't yeah. know if it would last long. But you're enjoying it. I love do you it. you love it? I really? Do. Well, yeah. Because we've not had one for all these years. It saves me like so much time. 15 years we've never had one in a dishwasher, have we? The next question was... Hang on, people! Orlando's awake now from his nap. Um, so Mark's just got to get in. But the next question is, why did you choose to paint the tiles rather than replace them? Will you replace the tiles? So no, we're not going to replace them because eventually we're going to... Everything's going to come out. We're going to rip the whole kitchen out. So there's no point in spending money when the tiles, I like the shape of them. I like the unevenness of them. I thought it was nice and rustic. Um, so I just went with the gloss paint over the top. Bish bash bosh, looks amazing. Really good to clean, easy to clean. I just went with a gloss paint, no tile paint for that. I just used, I think it was like crown once gloss paint. So you literally just need to use it once. I did do it twice just for that full effect. But um, yeah, no, I don't think there was any reason to get rid of them. Does the kitchen floor feel fake on naked feet? It just feels smooth. Yeah, it feels soft as well, doesn't it? There's a bit of a cushion there, isn't there? Yeah, it feels lovely under the feet. Yeah, the tiles are really cold. Even Vinny has said, like, it's so much warmer yeah. on his feet, so... It's made the room warmer, hasn't it? Yeah. Because the tiles used to, like, radiate coolness, didn't they? Yes. What colour is the carpet and make? Again, I will link that here for you. We went for a greyish beige carpet. Some people might say it's a bit crazy with it being a playroom, but it looks nice, doesn't it? Does it look lovely, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, so the next question, so let's get into money talk. So a lot of people said, what was your budget? We didn't really have a budget. To be honest, when we moved into the house, we didn't really think we were even going to paint the kitchen. We didn't no. think about that at all, did we? No, we weren't going to bother, were we? No, and then I'd seen quite a few people do it, and I was like, well, we should just give it a go. It's not, doesn't look that hard. No. And do you know what? Uh, I did actually look into having it sprayed and the quotes were coming in at like 12, 1500 pounds just to have the kitchen sprayed. That's not having the work tops replaced or anything like that. And we've done this whole kitchen renovation or decorating or whatever you want to call it, a makeover. Renovation. In under that, so for everything, replacing the work top. So I'll give you a little breakdown because uh, I've had a little look at everything and written it down for you. So, the overall floor cost, which is the main difference, isn't it? Yeah, the biggest thing. So, we're talking for in the playroom, in the kitchen, and the utility room. That was £1,165, yeah. including fitting, which I think is really good. Yeah. Um, we've, I mean... We're not sure on the square metre, are we? No, it's quite, I don't know. 
It would be there somewhere. It's quite big though, isn't it? Quite a lot um, of space, isn't it? It's hard to judge, isn't it? So, in the kitchen, I would... I think it's around six hundred pounds for the kitchen floor in there. Yeah. That's including laying it yeah. and everything, all the materials. The worktop in the kitchen, including fitting, costs five hundred and sixty-five pounds. So the floor and the worktop are obviously the biggest costs there. The handles we spray painted, that was like eight pounds. The sink was ninety-four pounds. The tap was thirty-four pounds, and then the paint was sixty-six. Because well, no. we already used the primer that we had at home, so we didn't have to buy any primer, and also the gloss we had left over. So the paint was £66. So the total cost is £1,367 for the kitchen. It's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, we have in here, we've painted, we've done a bit of panelling. Yeah. But I mean, what would you say that cost was for decorating? Those sheets were like £16 each one. Yeah, we used how much like five, have? didn't we? Uh, £80. 80. Pound. So I would say £90 to do the panelling in here. Yeah, and then £25, well, probably £50, we got the paint wrong, didn't we? Or yeah. whatever, we changed the paint, didn't we? So this room here, not including the carpet, was about £200, I would say. Yeah. Including, like, the curtains, painting, yeah. all of that kind of stuff. The utility room didn't cost anything because we already had the paint left over, so it was just the flooring in there. Yeah. And that's it. I mean, it's a big transformation for... It's that amazing what some it? paint can do. I know, paint is the way forward, isn't it? It's literally transformed it. And I've had quite a few people say, do you think I could do it? Like, could I paint in the kitchen or would I need a professional? I would say just go for it. Definitely. Use a would roller. Yeah. Don't use a paintbrush because you'll get, like, paint marks on it. And sometimes people would message me and be like, oh, I'm painting my kitchen, but I'm getting loads of, like, little bubble marks. Yeah. But that, like, goes as yeah. the paint dries, doesn't they dry it? They dry and then they go in, don't they? Yeah, so that's a bit of the worrying stage. Like, when you just do those first coats, it's a bit like... Ooh. The most amazing bit is the zinser, though, isn't it? When you put that first coat on, it just changes it from brown to the white, isn't it? Yeah, it covers on it so well. It's just amazing, doesn't it? Yeah. Just even like that, so... So, yeah, it. I think that's about it, isn't it, really? I mean, I don't think there's anything more to answer. A lot of people wanted to know about the flooring and the paint. So, yeah. Total oh, renovation. on the walls, actually. The wall paint is called Timeless. Yeah, we like that one. By Dulux. I, when we painted that, because Mark painted the whole kitchen white mm -hmm. originally, like bright white, wasn't it? Just like pure brilliant white emulsion, yeah. Because uh, originally it was like a bit of a magnolia, creamy yellow. Yeah, it was somewhere, wasn't it? And then we painted it white, and I just felt like it looked a bit too white. Yeah. against the white gloss tiles didn't it you think that strange, didn't it? No. it didn't make it feel like yeah, it was weird wasn't it yeah it didn't. nice no and so the time just made it look way better than that it's literally like the slightest change in I know. color it's just a, a warmer white um and i'm not really one for warm colors but i'm i'm going to more towards more warm colors now aren't i yeah I mean? definitely more um, homey colors aren't they Cozy. Yeah, even though it's white, I mean, it's a warm, creamier white, yeah. which actually works really well with the worktop. Yeah, definitely, because it's got those bits in the worktop. Yeah, it? it's funny how, like, all of the tones really come together. You've got, like, the walls really go well with the worktop, and then you've got the cupboard doors really go well with the floor, so yeah. it all ties in really well. And moving that cooker made a big difference as well, didn't it? Oh, yeah, we moved the cooker, didn't we? So that made a huge difference. Moving the room around. Yeah. Made it look lovely, didn't it? Mm -hmm. It was a bit weird having to those two cookers on it. <laughs> we don't need it, do we? <clears throat> Not really, no. A bit silly. Mark's like, oh, but what about Christmas Day? It was good for like, Christmas Day, to be fair. <laughs> one day we can't <laughs> keep another cooker for one day. Because that one had a gas hob, didn't it? That's a bit of a novelty to us because we never had a gas hob, have we really? No. And we have got that one in the. What's yeah. that one underneath the microwave? It's like a combi thing, isn't it? It's like a microwave and an oven that's saying. I don't know thing. how to use that. No. But we have got that as well, like a combi that was oven thing. In there, wasn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, we're happy with it, aren't we? Oh, I'm so happy with it. And we've got the table and chairs as well, which we actually bought. Um, what, what would you say? It was like at a discounted price because it was um, X display. Yeah. So we got that at a really good price. So all we've got to do now is just change a couple of lights and it's finished, isn't it? Yeah. We did the blinds, didn't we? We just need to find the right lights in, for in there because the ceiling's quite low. We're not rushing, are we? No. We're not rushing things like that, are we? But... No, we've done the main bit of it yeah. now and it looks so good. So once we, we need to get some furniture in here now in the playroom. And then I can show you that as but well. But we had to like paint the kitchen on a time frame, didn't we? Because the floor's booked in, wasn't it? So yes. we only had that window to paint it. But I like having little time frames because you've like got something to work towards, like haven't you? pressure for the pressure. Next, we're doing Vinny's room. Someone's asked actually when we're, what we're doing next. Yeah. Next, it's Vinny's room. We've got some really good that, plans for that. That's going to look amazing. It's going to look cool, isn't it? It's going to look so cool. A bit of a grown up room for Vinny. So we're excited to do that. But yeah, that is everything I think we've got to say about that. If you've got any questions anymore, 
listen down below and I'll answer them for you. But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> what are you going to say? Nothing. Say bye. <laughs> thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And we will see you all in the next video. Bye. Bye. I don't know what I should do and